DJI NEO 2 is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated drone releases in recent memory, not only because of its rumored hardware upgrades, but also because of the larger strategic context surrounding its expected launch. In recent years, DJI has cemented its reputation as a global leader in aerial imaging. Combining advanced flight technology, intelligent automation, and professional-grade optics into increasingly compact and accessible platforms. The NEO 2 is rumored to represent a particularly ambitious leap forward. Building on the unique hybrid FPV, first-person view, concept introduced with the original NEO, bridging the gap between autonomous cinematic drone flight and immersive high-speed FPV control. This concept resonated deeply with both casual flyers who wanted cinematic ease and FPV purists craving agility and control. Now, according to several credible leaks and industry reports, DJI plans to supercharge that concept with a series of innovations that may redefine the ultralight drone category. The core of the NEO 2's rumored upgrades lies in its powertrain and endurance. Leaked FCC filings and insider reports suggest the drone will carry a newly engineered 1606 mate high-density battery pack designed to deliver significantly extended flight, times potentially pushing the practical, flight window into the 20-25 minute range, a notable improvement over its predecessor. This is particularly significant in the FPV world, where high-speed maneuvering usually drains batteries quickly. Achieving such flight endurance in an ultralight airframe that likely remains under the 250 Drian regulatory threshold would be a major engineering feat, allowing pilots to enjoy longer sessions without the burden of stricter aviation rules in many countries. This under 250G classification is not just a convenience, but a deliberate strategy. It means the NEO 2 will remain accessible to a broader range of users, from weekend creators to professional vloggers, without being hampered by bureaucratic red tape. Equally crucial to this next generation platform is the imaging system. Rumors indicate that the NEO 2 will house a 1.3 inch CMOS sensor capable of capturing 4K footage at 60 frames per second coupled with HDR 10-bit color depth and support for a D-Log M color profile. This combination is likely to deliver not only striking visual clarity, but also a high degree of flexibility in post-production, enabling creators to push their footage further during color grading. This move aligns closely with DJI's broader push to democratize cinematic content creation, bringing features once reserved for larger professional drones like DJI Mavic 3 Pro into smaller, more affordable platforms, it also reflects the growing convergence between drone cinematography and FPV flight culture, where pilots want both the speed and thrill of FPV and the polished image quality of professional gear. To complement its advanced camera system, NEO 2 is also rumored to offer 22 GB of onboard storage, a subtle but meaningful quality of life upgrade. For FPV pilots, losing critical footage because of SD card issues or forgetting a card entirely is an all too common problem. By integrating generous internal storage, DJI is eliminating another friction point in the creative process. Moreover, this will likely be paired with a new generation of low-latency transmission technology capable of maintaining a reliable signal over distances of up to 10 kilometers. While most users won't push that limit, it's a testament to the system's robustness, especially for cinematic FPV shoots where clear, lag-free video feedback is critical for precision flight. Safety and durability are also expected to see major enhancements. One of the standout rumored features is the redesigned double-layer propeller guard system, which may offer both better aerodynamics and improved crash resistance during aggressive flying. FPV flight often involves tight gaps, quick turns, and low-altitude runs, increasing the likelihood of minor impacts. A stronger and more intelligently designed guard system could make the NEO 2 more forgiving for beginners, while still offering advanced pilots the freedom to push their limits. This ties into DJI's broader strategy of making FPV flight more approachable. Their earlier release of DJI Avatar lowered the barrier to entry for FPV flying. NEO 2 looks poised to take that philosophy further, combining lightweight design with intelligent safety systems. But the NEO 2 is not launching in isolation. It's part of a larger product ecosystem that includes the rumored DJI Mic 3 Pro and DJI Osmo Mobile 8, which are also expected to drop around the same time. This coordinated product push is telling. DJI appears to be doubling down on its identity, not just as a drone manufacturer, but as a comprehensive content creation brand. By aligning the NEO 2 with an advanced wireless microphone system and a next-generation smartphone gimbal, the company is essentially offering creators an end-to-end -end solution, stabilized aerial footage, professional-grade audio capture, and versatile handheld shooting. It's a clever strategy, 
positioning DJI as a one-stop shop for filmmakers, vloggers, and content creators who need a seamless, interoperable ecosystem. Focusing back on the Neo 2, the drone is rumored to feature multiple intelligent flight modes that blend cinematic automation with FPV control. While details remain scarce, it's likely that we'll see enhancements to obstacle sensing, subject tracking, and automated waypoint flying, all features that DJI has mastered in its larger drones. What sets Neo 2 apart is its presumed hybrid control system, which allows users to switch between these intelligent modes and manual FPV control fluidly. This means a creator can set up smooth cinematic establishing shots, then dive into thrilling manual flight for dynamic chase sequences, all with the same drone. This kind of versatility is exactly what has been missing from many ultralight FPV drones on the market. The rumored pricing of Neo 2 hasn't been confirmed, but analysts expect DJI to position it aggressively, likely below the premium FPV tier dominated by more specialized racing drones and just above entry-level camera drones. Such pricing would make Neo 2 accessible to a broad market, from aspiring YouTubers to professional content studios looking for a lightweight B-camera drone. Its launch timing, expected in November 2025, also aligns with peak holiday shopping season and major sales events like Black Friday, which could further amplify its market impact. DJI has a history of dominating end-of-year tech buzz with strong product drops, and Neo 2 seems designed to continue that tradition. Of course, the Neo 2 launch will unfold against a backdrop of regulatory challenges in the U.S., where DJI faces ongoing scrutiny, import restrictions, and national security investigations. These issues have not stopped the company from innovating at a rapid pace, but they may influence how and where Neo 2 is marketed. Some analysts believe DJI will emphasize its creator-focused messaging to distance this product from sensitive commercial or governmental use cases. By marketing Neo 2 as a lightweight, sub-250G drone for personal and creative use, DJI can sidestep some of the regulatory headwinds facing its larger platforms. From a technical standpoint, the rumored inclusion of advanced stabilization algorithms, gyroscopic precision, and possibly new propeller designs suggest that Neo 2 will deliver smoother flight dynamics than its predecessor. This will be crucial for ensuring cinematic footage without the need for extensive post-stabilization. It may also open doors to more advanced maneuvers for FPV pilots who want a balance between control and stability. Combining this with HDR 10-bit capture and D-Log M grading capabilities would allow creators to craft professional-level content straight out of the sky, rivaling footage from larger, more expensive drones. One of the most intriguing aspects of Neo 2 is how it might influence the broader FPV market. Traditionally, FPV drones have existed in a separate space from cinematic drones, with different communities, priorities, and workflows. But DJI's approach blurs that line. By making FPV more user-friendly without stripping away its thrill, the company is effectively opening the FPV world to an entirely new audience. This could lead to a surge of hybrid content, cinematic FPV sequences that are both polished and adrenaline-fueled, pushing the creative boundaries of platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. In the broader context of DJI's ecosystem, Neo2 represents a logical next step. It builds upon the company's legacy of making complex aerial cinematography accessible to the masses while subtly introducing advanced capabilities for professionals. Its rumored release alongside the Mic 3 Pro and Osmo Mobile 8 underscores a strategic move toward an integrated creator ecosystem. Instead of selling isolated gadgets, DJI is selling a unified creative workflow. Fly, shoot, record audio, edit, and publish, all within one ecosystem. This strategy not only deepens customer loyalty, but also creates a powerful network effect that competitors will struggle to match. To summarize, the DJI Neo 2 is shaping up to be much more than just a minor refresh. If the leaks and rumors hold true, it will offer extended flight times, professional-grade image capture, intelligent safety in flight systems, lightweight regulatory advantages, and seamless ecosystem integration. It is designed to empower creators at every level whether they're beginners learning their first FPV roles or professionals capturing high-stakes cinematic sequences. It's also a bold statement from DJI at a time when external pressures could have slowed its innovation. Instead, the company appears to be accelerating, ready to dominate yet another segment of the aerial imaging market.